So with this one, we are going to write the VIN after connecting it to it. So if you can see, write in VIN now, please enter VIN that you want to write. So let me input the VIN and bring you guys back. So after inputting the VIN, let me click on write. Yes. So it's now writing the VIN. And now wait. So I have this small setup, which is my UPS that I'm using to connect to the system. So we still wait for it to finish writing the VIN. And now it tells us that the VIN is written. Successfully, please enter the VIN to write here. Overwrite. Now that means the VIN is written successfully. Let me click on read. And bring you guys back and see if you can find the VIN in the VIN file. So we are waiting for it to read successful. So it just wrote the boot and now it is reading the data. So we wait for it to read the data successfully because it's a key line, so it's very slow. And this is my new project that I'm working on. So it serves as a UPS and it supplies power to the unit. So anytime I'm going anywhere and I'm having an issue, it I can still use it to do a little programming and reading for a while. And I think it can sell for about five to let's say 30 minutes depending on your current draw and you can see this current draw is really high so 1.16 amps or 1.20 amps so wait for it to finish now see the next thing to do So it is almost done and you can see I'm still having 11.9% 11.9 volts so it's still communicating and I'm still using I've just disconnected it and I wanted to check the temperatures to see it's very it's very warm it's very warm so hoping it will be able to communicate uh, to do it so you can see when we started we've passed 10 minutes and it's still reading i think it is almost done yeah so if you can see it has been able to hold it for more than 14 uh, for more than 15 minutes because it started around 146 and now it's 2 1 and my UPS has warm up a bit. It's very warm because it's too para. The batteries are affected into it in para, and I'm using a boost converter to convert it into 12 volts, which is 12.6 volts, so that I'll be able to communicate with my devices. And you can see now I'm done. <coughs> so now that I'm done, uh, my amp is still the same so let me see if let me add after to it because this after the vein was written okay so it is saved let me go to hex hmm. this one thing i like about um this one thing i like about 
um, these people, OBD, uh, I said OBD. I like about multiple, uh, that one I, I can be able to, I'll be able to search for the VIN easily by inputting it. But this one, I don't see the VIN written anywhere. So the VIN writing is successful. So I'll just give it to them to try it on the vehicle and give me the fourth code. Or what I can do now is um okay. Let me go back, disconnect. Yes. And go back and go to OBD and see. But this K line, yeah. Let me go to OBD. OBD. I should be able to communicate with it. Let me see if I'll be able to communicate with it. And you can see now my page is slow. I have to go up again because I'm going to turn on my control board. So the page will go up again. So, uh -huh, okay, they have auto scan. Let me use auto scan. So that I allow it to scan and find for the K line. So I'll bring you guys back when it's able to identify the K line. So using this ISOs, let me see if it will be able to identify the K line. If it's able to identify it, then I will see if I have live data and other things in it. I'll bring you guys back when it is done scanning. So to confirm that the VIN writing is successfully, I brought this machine out to connect it by OBD because this one the OBD couldn't read it. So I'm still using my UPS that I bought. So I've connected it and now for this setup it is drawing 0 0.4 amps. So what I'll do now is let me go to OBD go to auto scan and scan it and see if i'll be able to communicate with it uh, after communicating with it i don't think i should have anything to do with any programming or anything so i'll give it to the client that it should go and fix it on the car and start it and give me the feedback so you can see i'm seeing 12.9 i'm seeing 12.9 the reason why i'm seeing 12.9 is because this vci always add 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 millivolt to okay let's say 500 millivolt to every voltage that you see on your scan tool so let me go to you can see the vin that i wrote is there successfully so that means the VIN is done successfully or this. And you can see PCM really throttle position, loss communication on the car line. So what I'm going to do now is let me go to live data. Live data should be able to. And you can hear the beeping and the clicking of the relay. So this is my live data and it's all because I've not connected some of the things to it. That's why you are seeing it. But the most important thing is uh, as I have live data, that means the flash, the file, everything is on it and everything is perfect. So I'll give it to them to go and put it on the car and call me when they have any issue. So the engine has been running for 27 minutes. Wow. So now vehicle status. And I'm done programming. So you can see the protocol that I used. So let me go back and go to onboard. So this tells me that everything is done successfully. So let me do let me move straight from here and do auto scan to see if it will be able to identify the vein. So if it's able to pull the vein, then that means my work is done. 
So I will send it to them so that they place it on the vehicle and call me for any further instructions or if they need anything. And you can see it's still below the uh, 0 0.5 amps. But when you connect it to this because it charges this battery and it's connected to this also that's why you get high amperage using it with it so this tells me that my vein is red successfully yes so this is the vein all i need is this thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos